Hello, Your Honor, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, I think it'll be a partly cloudy day, and it's a lot of partly cloudy during the sun Virgo period for you. Not because you're depressed, just because you kind of reserved. The soul, the sun, is pulling your awareness more into your subconscious and your higher self and your past lives, your karma and your karmic patterns, than it is the daily present, which would be the sixth house, the house of body. So you're partly cloudy a lot. I don't want you to take that the wrong way. But today I think you're doing some important creative work. It looks like maybe even the beginnings of forgiveness. Now realize in the next two years with Saturn hitting this house of karma, you're going to be facing really your deepest karma on the planet. Now if we live to be 90, we might end up facing this three times in three cycles. If you're young and this is the first time, this is probably the most difficult because you become blindly aware of your deep karmic patterns. Or sometimes the first time Saturn hit, it was actually the creation of your karma. If Saturn hit the first time, just subtract 30 from your age. When it hit you the first time in this spectrum, it might have set up the issues that you're now going to undo. Either way, it's gonna be a very private time. Only those closest to you will understand it. And with Venus ruling the day, and the sun in chapter three of Virgo, it leads me to believe this is the beginning, the very beginning of self-compassion and forgiveness to yourself and your life from the past. It's the beginning of love and creativity pouring into this dark space and really setting up the foundations for a two-year transformative period. Now the hard part about this particular transit, because I've gone through it, is that it's often a surprise. I mean, it's your subconscious. I mean, sometimes the pieces fit together, but when you start to see for the first time what the universe is calling your karma, then you see the link to everything in your life and it becomes apparent. So. It's hard to have self-compassion when you're not really knowing where you're going. This is a time really of faith, and this is the house of faith, by the way. So by the end of all this cleaning out, you will have greater faith, hopefully, in you, the universe, and all of life itself. Now, emotionally, the moon today is pulling into the house of communication, so you really will be processing emotions, or you might be talking about them. All right, Libra, that's all we have for Monday. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So God.